There's a new push to fight our country's deadly fentanyl crisis. A new bill would create a felony murder charge for dealers. And now Senator Pete Ricketts is adding his name to that legislation. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider has much more on that. On Wednesday, Nebraska Senator Pete Ricketts spoke on the Senate floor in Washington about the drug crisis in the U.S. He said he's going to be co-sponsoring a bill called the Felony Murder for Deadly Fentanyl Distribution Act, which would make it a felony to distribute fentanyl if it results in someone's death. I spoke with Ricketts on Thursday about how the bill will work to reduce pills laced with fentanyl being distributed in the U.S. This is something that will increase the penalty for killing someone by distributing fentanyl, and that will help us be able to enforce the law, match up the penalty with the crime, and hopefully discourage someone from thinking about doing this. Ricketts says creating the link between fentanyl overdoses and who distributed the drug will be up to law enforcement, but this new law would increase their charges. Here in Nebraska, the DEA says they seized over a million doses last year. So far this year, they've seized over 16 million fentanyl pills nationwide and over 2,700 pounds of fentanyl powder. They say those seizures could have resulted in over 78 million lethal doses. It is probably the, mo the most dangerous drug threat we've ever faced in this country, and it is killing people at an alarming rate. And from uh, August of 2021 to August 2022, over 107,000 people died in this country as a result of a drug overdose. And over 70% of those were had fentanyl in, in their body. So that just shows you how dangerous it is. King says distributors are constantly trying to expand their networks to get more people addicted to the drug. He says the DEA is always working nationally and internationally to stop the flow of these drugs and the synthetic chemicals used to make them. And despite a dosage as small as the tip of a pencil being lethal, he says the dealers selling the drugs are more interested in making money. Law enforcement in Lincoln say harsher sentences could discourage criminals. It's not a secret how dangerous this is. And people know it does kill people and it kills a lot of people. So if you're willing to go out there and still sell that, I, I support this bill extremely. People need to realize if you're going to do this and people die, that you're going to get charged and you're going to get held um, responsible and for the death. The sheriff's office says in the last year they've worked on several cases involving the seizure of fentanyl the biggest being about 60,000 pills. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News. And if you have any old prescriptions you don't want anymore, this Saturday is National Drug Take Back Day here locally. You can bring them to the Hy-Vee near 50th and O from 10 until 2 o'clock. You can find out more information on this on our website, klkntv.com. Just click on this story.